Hi everyone, welcome to Aki Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I'm bringing you my latest Harry Potter New York store haul. So keep watching. So I just went back to the Harry Potter New York store at the end of September. I met up with my friends Ali over at Magical Alley and Tabby over at Gryffindor Bookworm. So not only am I going to show you my merch haul, but I will be showing you some clips of us over at this store. Hey! Hi. Hey. <laughs> Cameraman Chris. Cameraman Chris. <laughs> so we are on our way to the Harry Potter store in New York and yes. uh, getting ready to shop, right? Yes. Uh, we're gonna spend some spend money. All the money. All yeah. some more money. Yeah. So, <laughs> stay tuned. Yes. Hi. So we are finally waiting to get into the store. It's uh, what time is it now? Oh, sorry. Two forty-three. Two forty-three. So. Like an hour. Uh, yeah. One or two. Yeah, really something like that. Too, Not too bad. Yeah. We have some really good lunch. Where's Allie? Yeah. I'm sorry. She's I'm holding it. <laughs> and uh, we are moving. We're getting into the store. So excited to go back. It's so yeah. pretty. Yeah. Well, we're finally here at the Great New York store. We have Tabby from Gryffindor Book Firm. And of course, Allie from Magical Alley. Hi, myself, Melissa here. I'm Nikki now with Melly Bell. So let's see what we can find to buy. And spend all of our money. All of yeah. All of our money. <laughs> Death Eater ones are the one. best. Feel, Look at that. It finally have the Honey Dukes Spirit Jersey. This is what I had been looking for. Oh my goodness. Retail price for this is $65. I kind of want this bag. First lunch fly bag. So Ali and Tabby, what has been like your favorite part of the store so far? Are there like any items that you want to get? Have you gotten anything so far? So I mean I of course like the market section right now. But I'm just a fan of all the spirits. So give me all the spirits. Yes. If you can find your side, that's the only thing. But I really love the book section because they just have the original chapter art, like that's my favorite section. And the Just books look wise. on the field like, yes. are awesome too. Oh yeah. To me, that's the absolute best. I want to do that in my house. I mean, this is really cool. Like the original chapter art, like that to me is the best. I want those framed and on my wall. Yes. Yeah. They are really cool. I don't know, there's a Nina Lima 
prints that is like five hundred dollars. What? But that I want it. If the, that would be the thing I get if I could. Right. Would be that art. The big art print. Yeah, okay. It's massive. What about you, Alec? What's the one thing that you would want to get if you could? If like money was like no op no object. I would like the personalized Hogwarts acceptance letter from me. Oh, yeah. It's like two thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Well, I would love to have that. that. Yeah, that definitely would be super that, special. That's a goal. One day. Yeah, I have one from Calder Money. Yeah. Like the acceptance personalized, so I'm good. Oh, um, yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I mean, I already have a couple things that I wanted to get, which I think I showed you earlier. Really so I got my very yeah. first lunch, my bag, honey juice, and For real. now let's see some merch so something really neat about the harry potter new york store is that they give you an option to get your receipt email to you so i have my receipt on my phone so i have all the prices right here the first item i am going to show you is this really cool honeyduke spirit jersey i had been wanting this for a while as far as i know you can only get it at the harry potter new york store and the retail price for this spirit jersey was 65 dollars it is absolutely adorable i mean pink and purple are my favorite colors and i just think it's so pretty and then on the back it says honey dukes oh my goodness let me show you a closer look So I'm definitely loving this spirit jersey. I've already worn it a couple of times and I really love it. I mean, it is such a fun and colorful spirit jersey. Totally worth getting. And just to let you know, if you are unsure about the sizing on the spirit jerseys, they are comparable to the Disney spirit jerseys. I am typically in between a medium and a large when it comes to just regular sizing. Uh, but when it comes to spirit jerseys, I am a small. So this spirit jersey right here is a small. Because again, they do run on the larger side. Now, next item we picked up or that I picked up was this really cool butter beer. I love that it's already bottled in this glass bottle. I don't think I am going to open this and drink it just because I like it more as a little prop and it says on the back butter beer butterscotch flavor sparkling soft drink and on the front it says celebrating Makusa New York City and it does say butter beer so I thought this was a really 
cool item to get as a souvenir from the New York store. And the retail price for this bottle was $6. So let me show you a closer look. item I am going to show you is a pin because come on let's face it I cannot go to the Harry Potter New York store and not get a pin I got this really cool buck beak pin and it was only eight dollars so let me show you a closer look I really like this pin I had never seen a buck beak pin before so I thought it was really cool and I just really had to get it and here we have a closer look and here we have the back of the pin. Now, since we're already talking about pins, when we went to the Harry Potter store in New York at the end of September, we did the scavenger hunt again. If you don't know what that's all about, I'm gonna link my video on that right here so you know how to go about getting your free pin. So we did our scavenger hunt and we got our free pin again. So let me show you a closer look. And the last item I am going to show you is this brand new Honeydukes Lounge Fly backpack. Now, this is my very first Lounge Fly backpack, so I am super excited. I think the colors on this are just amazing. I mean, I really love the pink and the teal color on here. I just think it's so cool. I mean, look at this front pocket right here. You can actually fit. Um, like your phone, maybe not your phone because my phone is a little on the bigger side. Well, I guess you could fit it like this if you wanted to do it that way, but you can fit anything right here for easy access. And then you do have this really cute chocolate frog tag right here on the zipper. And this front pocket opens up, of course. So let's go ahead and open that. I am so excited for this. I got this backpack. This one was the last one they had. So I got really lucky. And then we have this little front pocket. And oh my goodness, the lining on the inside is so cute. Oh my gosh. Let me show you guys a closer look. I mean, look at that lining on the inside. Super cute. Now that front pocket is pretty big. I do have a big phone. It actually fits there quite nicely. So, so far we know this is a big pocket and this is just so cute. I love how it says Harry Potter and Lounge Flight right here. And here's a closer look at the chocolate frog tag on the front zipper. Now, it does not have pockets on the sides for you to put a drink. That's the only thing that I wish it had. Other than that, I think this bag is super cute. I love the gold zippers. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the stuffing just so that we can see how much space we actually have in here. All right, so I removed all the stuffing. So it looks like we can probably fit a small water bottle and let's say my camera, which would typically go in here. So we do have a decent amount of space in here and it looks like the lining on the inside is the same as the lining on the inside of the outer pocket. So let me show you a closer look. And it also has an inner zipper. And this is the back. I think it's super cute. We have another chocolate frog right here. And if you look closely, that chocolate frog gets embroidered into the bag. And then here we have the straps, the first part of the strap. It's made out of this faux leather material, like a vinyl material. And then it is adjustable. And then the bottom part of the strap is made out of fabric. But I like that you can definitely adjust it. And then you have the top handle right here. I really love this. I mean, this is my very first lounge fly backpack ever. And 
I mean, I'm so glad I used this one because this one is just super amazing and it just goes perfectly with my Honey Duke Spirit jersey. Also, in case you are wondering, I am wearing my Tournament Champion t-shirt. This came in my latest box by the Wizarding Trunk. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link that right here as well so you can check out that unboxing. And that's it, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one out of the items from my Harry Potter New York store mini haul was your favorite. And let me know what you thought about my mini adventure at the Harry Potter store in New York with Ali and Tabby. And as usual, guys, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me.